happy to be talking to Lauren today from Buy Fresh, Buy Local about that particular concept and organization and how it is trending in Nebraska, if it is trending at all. Mm -hmm. So Lauren, have at it. Great, thank you. Um, it's great to be here. Um, I coordinate Buy Fresh, Buy Local Nebraska, which is a membership organization that focuses on uh, promoting the production and consumption of local food. And this is a really exciting time for local food. I think that we've seen um, big movements on the coasts and we're seeing a lot more of it um, in, in the middle of the country. Um, though I think it's, there's a rich tradition of eating locally, um, we're seeing that, that movement kind of being revived, um, especially within the last five years. And I think a clear indication of um, local food movements trending is that there are a lot more studies being done about local food. Um, for instance, last year the USDA just came out with a local food um, survey and study that, that also kind of highlighted what was going on in Nebraska. So you can look, look for specific details on what's happening in Nebraska in those, that type of study. Um, but we're also seeing lots of uh, movement toward farm to school and um, thinking a little bit more creatively about um, markets, different marketplaces for for local food. Um, so I think it's, it's local food kind of, uh, the trends are very regional and it's hard to make a kind of a blanket statement about local food across the country, but uh, we definitely are seeing it trending um, here in Nebraska. And, and that's, it's inclusive of um, older people and young, younger people. I think when you look at different demo demographics, uh, for instance, younger people, you could start to see some of the barriers that exist for beginning farmers when it comes to land access and capital and that kind of thing. We're also seeing a lot of people come back to family land um, and, and in some cases convert that into um, uh, an operation that focuses on um, food for local markets. So it's, it's an exciting time. Perfect. And so what does this actually mean for consumers and where do they, where do they find the label? What does that really mm -hmm. mean? So Buy Fresh, Buy Local is not the only local food label. Um, in fact, if you go to a grocery stores, big grocery store chains, they might have their own label, but um, Buy Fresh, Buy Local is a, a national label. So that means that if you go to another state that has, um, has a Buy Fresh, Buy Local network, um, you, can, you can see that label and understand something about that product. Um, and there's no, the, the definition kind of ranges a little bit, but for us, um, Buy Fresh, Buy Local means that it's a Nebraska product, product, or it's a product coming from a, um, a county in a surrounding, in a, uh, in a state um, surrounding Nebraska um, that, that, borders, that borders the state. So um, perhaps, like for instance, there are members in Iowa that um, go to Omaha as their local market, and so they might be included in Buy Fresh by Local Nebraska um, because it words, is a local product. It's not my carrots coming from California. Right, Perfect. exactly. And so you can have, um, I think that, that it communicates a sense of um, something that you can trust in. Um, and I think that that's a big issue when it comes to local food because there's no certification. Um, every consumer has to do their own homework. And so this is a label that um, communicates something important to a consumer. Perfect. So we're also seeing winter markets and a lot of farmers markets. How does this tie into that? It ties in very closely. So um, Buy Fresh, Buy Local um, works with farmers and ranchers and businesses um, like grocery stores and restaurants, but it also works with farmers markets, um, hopefully more and more across the state. Um, but mostly we work with um, farmers markets in the eastern part of the state. Um, that uh, not all of their members are Buy Fresh, Buy Local members, but they are um, also trying to communicate something about their market, that they put a priority on um, locally produced food. And so in many cases you can uh, you, can ver you can trust that the, the farmer that you're buying from is the farmer who um, produced the food that you're, that you're purchasing. Okay, and mm -hmm. so we, we do end up at farmer's markets with things that are probably still on the stand, local things. Do they go into the juicer? Do they go to mm -hmm. the food bank? That's really kind of the wrap-up question. What happens to the stuff left over? Yeah, I think that there's a, there are a lot of people being very creative with um, markets, especially small family farms, um, because they're trying to build a, a viable business. And so uh, they're looking for lots of different markets. And so in many cases, um, the things that are left over after, after market um, will go into value-added products that, they, that, mark, that farmers will sell later in the season, for instance, in the winter, um, things that can be you know, half a shelf life. Um, they, uh, some produce goes to local food banks, and there are, there are organizations that do um, offer gleaning, and you know, they, connect, they connect farmers with, with food banks and people who need, who need food, um, especially you know, healthy, healthy produce. 
Um, I think that there's also there are also uh, there's a a lot of movement toward figuring out new markets for for products as well. So um, products uh, markets, excuse me, um, where uh, a producer can get uh, still get a premium for that product even though they didn't sell it at market that day. And so they work directly with um, restaurants, for instance, to be able to um, have another market for that product um, and and also get it to uh, a customer that wants to buy it. Perfect. So we've been talking to Lauren from Buy Fresh, Buy Local about the kinds of things that you might look for either in your winter farmers markets or in regional farmers markets or at the grocery store. Thanks, Lauren. Thank you.